Hi everyone. Have you ever needed to make a decision in your business to see whether the cost of something outweighs the benefits of something or if you're going to get enough benefits out of something to justify the cost? Well, one of the best ways to look at that is with cost benefit analysis. And that's where we take all the costs of a project or buying product or stock for our business and we weigh that against all of the sales or the benefits that we'll get out of that project or those products or those things that you will sell. And when we weigh those together, we get a nice little ratio that says we have a cost to benefit ratio of one to, you know, to three or one to 10. Maybe we've got 10 times the benefit and that's really, really good. Or maybe it's the other way around. Maybe we've got more costs than we have benefits. And that's really good to know as well. So this Excel spreadsheet does all of the calculations for you automatically. We've got this beautiful little formula here and it tells us our cost to benefit ratio and we'll go into that. And also the break even analysis. So how long does it take for us to break even given we're spending this much money and that's uh, over time. And here are the benefits starting to creep up slowly. It's a great spreadsheet. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. Let's get into it. Now, the first thing we're going to do is just the general framing and coloring for our spreadsheet. And we might speed this up ever so slightly as we go along so we can get into the really good stuff of creating the cost to benefit ratio and the formulas and the beautiful break even chart as you saw before. Now let's put the general borders in so that we know exactly what we're dealing with. And we want just a nice thick box border around the main sections of our spreadsheet. And we'll just put uh, smaller borders around the other sections. To do those smaller borders, we're going to select all of the section that we need. And we're just going to go to more borders. And what we're going to put is maybe let's put, uh, actually let's make this a little bit of a lighter gray. We'll do a dashed line for our horizontal and a normal line for our vertical lines. Put those all together. And now that's done that automatically for us. Let's just fill out the thick box border again. Uh, and now we've got a really good framing for our particular costs area. We'll color this a nice sandy color, just so that that's a, a nice keeping in the theme with our sheet, very calming there. And there are many different types of costs that we might have. We can put examples of these uh, as we go along. Now we need to put the time areas right up the top. So this might be year one and this might be year two and we might go along in years, but this could be months or days or weeks or anything that you actually choose yourself. Now, if we, uh, if we drag this across, Excel will do all of the work for us there. We'll put that in the middle and in the center, color that white, and now that's looking quite nice. For this one, let's give ourselves one of those uh, vertical borders as well, just as we did with our other one, so that that really stands out. And now we just want our total right at the end as well. Now, if we fill out a few numbers here, so if we say we've got 50, maybe we've got 100 here, we wanna turn all of these, uh, these ones into a currency or into, into dollars. So if we save format cells, and if we just go to our number, we can have that as a currency. And if we like the way that that looks, then we can use that. Or we can have the accounting um, format, which is, is another way to do it. Uh, and that will look like that. Now we're gonna to need to do the totals. So for this, if we say um, equals the sum of, open up our bracket, all of these, this row here, and close our bracket, then that's going to give us the, the sum there. And if we copy that, select all of, those, uh, all of those rows, and then if we say paste the formulas, that's going to paste it, the formulas for our totals over on the side. Now we want to do the same for the bottom as well. So we want to say equals sum, open up our brackets, and select this particular column. Close our bracket, and now we have that total for this particular year one. Now, if we copy this across, right click, paste the formulas only, so that doesn't mess too much with our formatting. Uh, now we can see that we've got that copied across nicely. Now, if we wanna change the way that looks, we can just go and choose the accounting number format again, and that will you know, change the way that it looks. I think that's a little bit better, but for our costs, we want them to be just a little bit red. So we're just gonna give them like a nice dark red color and increase the size. And now that's starting to look really good as our costs. But for now, we're going to create the benefits table as well. And we can do that just by copying this particular table and pasting it down here. And now we're just going to rename it to the benefits and change the names for all of these benefits that we might have. And we're going to change the color of this just to be a dark green 
because these are the benefits, these are the good things that we're wanting in our business as a result of our project or our sales. We'll fill out the rest of the colors and just make the, the colors the same for our costs and the same for our benefits here, just a nice turquoise color. Uh, but now we can do the net benefit or the net cost as well. So this is the, the outcome of all of our costs and all of our benefits put together. And because we've got the totals, it's very easy to do. All we have to do is say equals our benefits minus our costs. And if we do that, then that's going to give us uh, exactly zero so far. So we've got zero benefit uh, total out of this. Now, if we drag this all the way across, that's going to give us uh, the total for each of these years and also the grand total right at the end of our benefits of $700 minus our costs of $200. And maybe we'll give it a bit of a deep blue here, actually with a white text, and that way that can stand out ever so slightly. Now we're going to do the overall cost to benefit ratio itself. And to do that, we're actually going to use a few little tricks in Excel. The first is our if then else function in Excel. So what we're going to say is if our costs, which is this cell here, are greater than our benefits, then we're going to do our costs divided by our benefits. So that's going to be our first one. Now, if they're not, we're just going to have it as a one. So if our costs are less than our benefits, then it's going to be a one. Now, the trick with this is we're going to use concatenation as well. So concatenation is when we're using the ampersand sign here and then just the brackets and writing a little bit of text and saying two. So this is how we're putting them together. Uh, so this is our cost to benefit ratio. And if we're putting this together, now we've got our one to 2.8. So what it's done is it's calculated that the, the benefits here, $700, are greater than the costs. And so it's had two, it's divided the benefits by the cost, which is 2.8 and given us a one on the other end, uh, and also put a, a few words in between to make it a nice sentence or you know a nice outcome as one to 2.8. And that is our cost to benefit ratio, all done automatically using Excel formulas. Now the last thing we want to do is create that beautiful little uh, break even analysis to see how long it's going to take us exactly for us to break even or to start making money from our product or our project. And to do that, we're going to have to use another little trick in Excel. And first of all, we're going to just uh, create a cumulative line here. So what that means is it's going to be all of our costs accumulated over time. So the first one, we're just going to say equals our first line, and that's fine. But our second one, we're going to say equals the sum of uh, this one, oh, this one plus this one and we're just going to close the brackets there. Now, what we're going to have to do is go back to this and just put a dollar sign in between, uh, before the C, the first C, so that that one does not move. And that means when we drag this across, it's going to keep the first cell uh, the same and keep the other ones and move the other ones all the way across for us. And that way it gives us our accumulative total. And as you can see, that ends up the same as our overall to total in the end. So if we put that in the center and just in the middle, uh, and now we're going to use that for our chart, but we're going to do the same thing for our benefits. We can probably just copy this and paste this down and Excel will, will do all of the work for us there. So now we've got the accumulative total for our benefits as well. Now we can easily create our chart. So if we select our, these two cumulative totals, this one, and if we hold control and drag this one across. Now we've got them both selected. If we say insert, uh, maybe we'll make it a nice line graph uh, and that way we'll bring this up and we'll format this to make it a little bit more, a little bit nicer looking. So if we right click and select data, then what we actually want to do is with these two legends, the first one, if we edit that one, uh, the series name, we're going to make that the costs section here. Uh, and if we click OK, and the same with our, the other one, we want the series name to be the benefits here. And so now we've got that correct. But we also want to change the, the horizontal axis because we want that to be our years. So if we click on these years, one to five, and again, this could be anything, this could be days, weeks, or months, completely up to you, and you can add more columns to suit very easily. 
Now you can see that's updated and now it's got that labeled correctly. So if we click OK, now we're starting to look a lot nicer. But still, what we want to do is just format this to make it look a little bit nicer still. And we'll change the outline. The outline can be uh, a nice green for our benefits. And maybe for our costs, we can make them uh, maybe a red, a deep red, maybe an orange, completely up to you. And we want to format that data series. And uh, if we format that data series, because we just want to add a marker over here, and the marker options, let's say we want just some nice circular ones, a little bit bigger. Uh, we want the fill to be the same, so we'll make that the, the dark orange there. And we don't want any borders on that. And we'll just do the same for our benefits as well. Let's give this one an, an overall border, maybe a nice deep blue there. And we'll just increase the size of that outline, uh, maybe up to, yep, now that's looking really, really nice. Now if we change the, the costs, let's say we have a big upfront cost of say $300, uh, you know, and then over, over time, we're wanting our benefits to be a little bit more as well. So more there, maybe, um, maybe more there, maybe more there, uh, and maybe a little bit more here. And now you can see by year three, we've broke even and uh, now it's starting to, the benefits are starting to outweigh the costs. Now really, really quickly, you might see that uh, over here, we've actually got a huge number. So this is something that we didn't think about and that we actually want to change. So we want this to just be truncated to only two decimal points instead of all of these crazy decimal points over here. So if you really, if you do run into that, all you have to do is say trunk at the beginning, open up your brackets, and we're going to truncate that to two decimal points. Uh, and we'll do the same for our other one, trunk. Open up that, uh, put that to two decimal points. Make sure you put the right com uh, commas there in the right places. It'll tell you where to put those in the formula. But now if we press enter, the, that's truncated that to just two decimal points and that's a lot nicer. There you go, looking really good. If we take off the grid lines over here and view grid lines, now we've created a beautiful cost to benefit analysis that you can take and use in your business or your startup to see if that product is going to make you money, to see if that project is going to make you money, or to see if that new business is going to make you the money that you deserve. I've had a really great time spending this time with you and creating this spreadsheet, and I hope you've enjoyed yourself as well. I'll see you in the next video, and bye for now.